This is our learning video from group 6 which discuss memory. Memory or often called memory is a function of cognition that involves the brain in retrieval of information. Memory will be studied in greater depth in cognitive psychology and neuroscience. In general, experts view memory as a relationship between experience with the past. What has been remembered is what has been experienced, either perceived, and it has been entered into his soul and stored that at a time the incident is re-evoked in consciousness. The brain's ability to store information in memory for years, months, days, hours, minutes, or even a lifetime is known as long-term memory. He is different than short-term memory in terms of storage and storage capacity memory is the ability to receive and enter our learning, store memory or retention, and bring back what has been experienced or remembering. In the process of remembering information, there are three stages, namely entering information or encoding, storage, and retrieval stage. What is encoding? Encoding is the process of changing the nature of information into a form that matches the memory characteristic of the organism. The process of converting this information can occur in two ways, namely, first, unintentionally, that is, when things received by the sense are accidentally entered into his memory. For example, we can see in children who generally store an intentional experience. For example, that he will get what he wants if he cries a lot. Second, deliberately. That is, when the individual intentionally incorporates experience and knowledge into his memory. For example, students in studying. Next, there is storage. The second function of memory is about storage or storage of what has been processed in encoding. Something that has been learned would usually be stored in the form of trace and can be reproduced. Even though they are stored, if they are not used often, this memory trace can be difficult to retrieve and even disappear, and this is called forgetting. And the last stage is remembering. In the process of remembering, or what is often referred to as memorizing in order to remember well, there are several stages that need to be prepared. The preparatory stage that can be done before remembering include Memory technique is a technique of entering all of the information we get into the brain according to how the brains work. Basically, the brain is very fond of things like something that doesn't make sense and is excessive colorful, multisensory, or involving all five senses, using associations, imagination, humor, symbols, and so on. The more we can use these things, the more maximal our memory will be. There are several methods of remembering, including first, repetition. Repetition is a method that is often used to remember information repeatedly so that it can be remembered and stored in long-term memory. Second, associate technique. The association or hook technique is how we associate things in our memory. Third, chain link system. The chain system is information that will be remembered must have a relationship with others. Fourth, location system. With this method, we can associate the information we want to remember with a specific location. Fifth, total story technique. This technique is done by making short stories from things that we will memorize. For example, we will shop at the supermarket to buy rice, sampo, milk, chewing gum, and the other. Sixth, total word technique. In this technique, the information you want to remember is converted into abbreviations or if the information to be remembered is foreign words, it can be changed into words that sound almost the same. And the last seventh, total number technique. This technique is used to remember numbers. 